Shannon Bidor accuses husband of hiding money in divorce. After 17 years, Shannon Bidor and David are divorcing. At first, it seemed that the divorce for this Real Housewives of Orange County couple would remain amicable, for the sake of their three daughters. But that's changed, and now Shanna names to take everything from David. Get it, girl. Now. A report about the couple's court battle shows that she's making good on her vow to go after his finances. At the beginning of October of last year, we reported that Shannon Bedora was ready to leave David. A few weeks later, the two made their split official. Two years after David confessed to cheating on her with a married friend, their marriage was on thin ice. It seemed that they were basically living in the same house as neighbors, not partners. It sounded like some serious alienation. Though David is the known cheater, it seems that problems really arose because David stopped loving Shannon when she gained weight. That is heartbreaking, and now the couple is divorcing. Radar Online reports that Shannon is fighting David in court for money. Their source says. David is trying to be a cheapskate and Shannon isn't having any of it. And at the divorce hearing scheduled for January 25th, she's going to seek more cash. She demanded that he submit his current income to the judge because she believes he is grossly underestimating his net worth. That sounds like a very, very standard divorce. She knows that David has more money than he is claiming to have and isn't going to let him get away easy. After the divorce announcement, the couple spent a few weeks playing nice for the sake of their children. But even that polite facade has fallen apart. And, from court filings. It looks like Shannon believes that David is trying to cling to every last penny that he owns. David has far greater access to funds to pay attorney fees, and the amount of the award for which request is made is modest relative to David's income. If that's all true, David will probably end up paying Shannon more than he'd like. But Shannon isn't just seeking payments for herself, folks. Shannon believes that David should pay for all three of their daughters' college tuition in full. Well, hopefully he won't fight Shannon on that issue. As their father, and a college education is often a necessity, not a luxury. It's not his daughter's fault that they were born, so their parents owe them the best start at life that they can provide. And it sounds like David can provide quite a lot. As we mentioned, this sort of financial wrangling is typical of divorce. It's so typical, in fact, that we'd almost be shocked if this weren't happening. The Bedors are rich, but not so rich that they'd each prefer to ignore a few million in order to avoid conflict. That's for Hollywood A-listers, if anyone. But the Bedors also aren't so poor that their means are insignificant. 
so there's a lot for them to contest. More significantly, though, they are both dealing with complex emotions, including anger and grief. Love can turn to hate in an instant, and a lot of divorce battles have more to do with spite than anything else. 